Well, here we are on the first edition of the boiler rebuild. As you can see on the steam building, the funnel is missing. So work is already well underway. Right, right. All right, you can see they've got the cone off the top of the boiler and they're already starting the process of cutting the tubes out. Right, they've already got the grate pulled out, and there's the one of the cone components. Run up top and have a look. Okay, so you can hear it's raining outside, so that's why not many people are out today. But you can see here's our master steam valve off the top of the boiler. We can go a little bit higher. Here we go. Tight fit. And here is our upper tube plate. So, essentially, what has to happen here is we have to cut out each and every one of these tubes and replace them. And there's over 300, if I'm not mistaken, and that's going to take a little, a little while. And they're going to have to be replaced with one of each size and they're going to be rolled at one end and welded on the other so this is uh, no small job should be interesting well, as you can see some of the engines here haven't run in a little while they got a good coating of dust and other things on them so we'll be hopefully getting that stuff up and running as soon as we get this baby repaired so wasting no time oh, here we are there she is. So I tossed a light into the firebox so we can have a look up inside there. You can see they've pulled the fire grates out. So now they can get full access to the bottom of the tube so we can get up in there and start cutting them and pulling them out from the bottom and then cutting away the welding on the top and pulling that out. So that should be interesting. So if you look way up top there, you can see the uh, cap on where the funnel normally goes out the roof. And uh, right there you can see the cone that's normally fitted over the top of the uh, upper tube plate. Collects the smoke and sends it up the stack. So we got that pulled off and moved out of the way, so now we have full access to the upper tube face. And now we can start cutting those tubes out and replacing them. So, should be fun. And some poor old sod's gonna have to climb in there with a tube cutter and uh, start taking out all these tubes, all 300 some odd of them. And that should be fun. <laughs> poor Oops. sucker, here's a shot you don't see too often. Take a look inside of one of the hand holes here. So, right on inside, you can see the crown sheet for the firebox. And directly across is the handhole on the other side of the boiler. And all those in there are nothing but tubes. So, you can kind of see why they need replacing. Getting a little old, despite our best efforts to take good care of them. At the end of the day, it is an old boiler, so maintenance like this does need to happen. Well, we'll keep at it. 